So locked in syndrome after a chiropractic neck treatment or adjustment. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about that. What's up guys, Dr. Webb here. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about a recent case that was settled for $75 million. It's a case of locked-in syndrome. It's a malpractice case that was against a few physicians that treated uh, this patient or evaluated this patient. And this was after this patient got locked-in syndrome following chiropractic treatment. So this video is basically to just make some awareness surrounding locked-in syndrome, like what is it? And about the incidence of vertebral artery dissection. So we're hearing this over and over again from individuals who are getting these adjustments with their neck and they tear one of the vessels or have a dissection, the vertebral artery that's in their neck that can lead to a lot of different sequelae like a stroke. So what is locked-in syndrome? So locked-in syndrome is essentially a condition where you have a stroke, lack of blood flow to your brain, a specific part of your brain called the pons. And this part of the brain can result from a number of different things. Uh, usually it's a lack of blood flow. If you have a stroke or lack of blood flow to a part of that brain, well, that brain is not going to work. This is a pretty wild condition because this condition, you can't do anything but blink. You can't really speak. You can't move your arms. You can't move your legs. You can't do anything. You can't make facial expressions. You can't chew. You can't swallow. I mean, this part of your brain is essential for controlling these things. If you have a lack of blood flow or stroke in that area of the brain, well, that brain will not be able to function. So people basically sit there, they blink their eyes, and that's about it. That's called locked-in syndrome. Pretty wild, right? So this condition, it's caused, can be caused by a number of different things. It usually affects patients that are between 30 and 50 years old, depending on the type or the area of the brain that is affected will dictate what type of symptoms and you know what type of form of locked-in syndrome. There are a couple different types of locked-in syndrome. Well, I, I did a little research and, and looking into specifically vertebral artery dissection after a chiropractic neck manipulation. This is not one of those things that the incidence is really high. It's a fairly small risk, okay? This video is not to say that, hey, you should not get a neck adjustment or a manipulation. The incidence in several studies that, that I have seen, it's estimated that one in 20,000 spinal manipulations result in a vertebral artery aneurysm or dissection, uh, but the exact incidence is unknown. I personally think that, you know, forceful, quick, when I see patients go into the therapist or a chiropractor and they're adjusted really quickly and they walk out two, three minutes later, is that really effective? I think some soft tissue mobilization, some uh, myofascial release, uh, stretching, range of motion, electrical muscle stimulation, all those things are very helpful for patients who have musculoskeletal injuries, or if they have, in my case, injuries to their spine or degenerative changes to their spine, lumbar stenosis, lumbar spondylosis, and all those things. So the forceful, quick adjustments, you know, that treatment that you go in and get treated 30 seconds and then you leave, that's not really effective, but it can also present some risks associated with it. And as a spine surgeon, Certainly, there's a lot of risks associated with it. You know, nerve injury, bleeding, hardware failure, pseudoarthrosis, or non-union of the bone. Uh, these are all risk factors uh, that can happen with spine surgery. Any spine surgery that you have, there's certainly a risk that is associated with it. So these vertebral artery dissections, some symptoms that patients can have. They can have dizziness, vertigo, loss of balance, uh, nystagmus, which means your eye is kind of moving in abnormal uh, directions. Uh, they can have numbness, hemiparesis, which is weakness on one side of your body. They can have headaches. All of these things should raise the suspicion or the clue that something uh, may be going on. If you haven't seen a movie called The Diving Bell and Butterfly, it was actually about a patient who had locked-in syndrome. It's a really interesting video. I've seen this. It's been a few years since I've seen it, but this person is completely paralyzed, but mentally they have this, you know, it doesn't affect your thought process. They're completely normal from their uh, mental standpoint. And this video is essentially of a person who has locked-in syndrome 
and they're able to communicate just by blinking their eye. And I believe they actually, this person actually wrote this book by blinking their eye. Crazy. You should definitely check it out. It's called The Diving Bell and the uh, butterfly. But essentially, you know, this locked in syndrome is something that is a serious condition, is really interesting. In this case here, this patient unfortunately got locked in syndrome after a chiropractic adjustment and became paralyzed because of that. So it causes complete paralysis except for the muscles that control your eye movements. Can you imagine being paralyzed? And the only thing that you can move is your eyes crazy. So just wanted to bring some awareness. I mean, the incidence of vertebral artery dissection, and I've made previous videos about this, is not high, okay? Uh, certainly, there are higher risks with anything that I do in spine surgery than a getting going to a chiropractor and doing a neck adjustment and tearing your vessel in your neck. Uh, but certainly, anything that we do in medicine, medications, with certain treatments, especially surgery, there's risks associated with it. I just want you guys to be aware of those risks, educate yourselves. I personally don't think, you know, these forceful, quick adjustments are really helpful. They actually can do more harm than good. If you see a chiropractor or a therapist or someone that you, you just seeing on the side, you know, a family friend, just make sure they're treating your muscles, the joints, they're trying to realign certain things, um, soft tissue mobilization, range of motion, trying to do some strengthening for your core and all those things. Make sure it's not done in a really forceful manner. That stuff really doesn't work. This is Dr. Webb, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.